Alright, welcome back guys to my last play of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis where we left off this dumb thing. <laughs> I'm calling it dumb. Because I ran out of beads and all that stuff and we gotta basically start at the beginning which is, f I'm fine, I'm fine with that. So a ladder, um, I did go back and get the parts, I did save as well, uh, so we don't have to go back. And repeat things all over again. I may double check that. Uh, let me double check that. Because I say, yeah, bark. There we go. Okay. Uh, play. Alright, so let's uh, open chain. Oh, not open chain. It doesn't seem to open. Uh, chest plate. Look at chest plate. All right, so here's our parts. So, um, it went this, and then that, and then okay, I brought up the the uh, guide because I don't want to lose beads, and then you know we'd have to run all the way back and make beads. I don't want to do that. I don't have time. Uh, okay. Place the bronze spoken wheel in the middle. Yes, yes, yes. Crescent shaped gear on the right. Also, don't mind Hazel. She's being a Pyrenees. Um, and the bronze gear on the upper left corner. And then we insert a bead. And be amazed. Whoa! Arm or lower, climb down the ladder, and use the chain on the left. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I missed this crucial part. Oh. I better get down from here first. Yes, please do. Oh, oh you, you can't just do it yourself. Okay. Oh, I have to use on this. Oh, because you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so look. Chest plate. Okay, so. Lower left corner. Okay, and that's it. Oh, that was. Kind of easy. At least we got it done. Nice. All right. There's a hinge pin that screams I could be. It could be picked up. This was a hinge pin that held up the door. I feel like I should save. This was a hinge pin that held up the door. Let's save. I don't want to do that again. Okay, so where does this go? Let's find out. Walk to bones. Wait, this is going further in, isn't it? Mysterious. I don't know if I want to go forward without Sophia. Uh, no. I feel like this is the end. And I need to say Sophia. So wait, wait, whoa. Hello. Uh, I, I, excuse me, I'll be back here. Just hold your thoughts. Okay. Uh, I would like to save Sophia, although I don't know how. What do we the hinge? It is a pin. Uh, we'll give it a shot. I think I've tried everything else. If it doesn't work, there must be something further in. Maybe I'm supposed to go further in.
this lead somewhere. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, well, you know. We'll just head all the way back. Well, not back, we'll just reload. And go from there. Oh, I thought he's coming to my. What if I don't say Sophia? Maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe it's supposed to be like when you're leaving, you're supposed to save her. I'm assuming this is gonna be this great like, run, run to the end before everything collapses. Say Sophia. Actually, I don't know. There's a lot of what it's going through my head right now. Okay, let's try this pin. Uh, give it to Sophia. I don't think that'll work. Okay, can I use it with the door? I can't do this by myself. Okay, do I give her the pin? There's something happening. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe we'll think of something. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll we'll talk to her. Sophia? Well? See you soon. Don't leave me here, Indy. Okay. It looks pretty heavy. I can't move it. I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. Was I, what, what are we supposed to do with the pin? Are you sure this is safe? Oh, 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 wait, 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 um, wait, I could have done this earlier. Hurry up. And let you drop this bronze door on me? <gasps> oh. Brace the door with a rock. I don't have a rock. Oh, uh, it's the pin, not the rock. Oh. Uh, and let, did I try opening the cage before? I don't know if I did. Uh. <laughs> what makes you think this is safer now? Uh, okay, I got a plan. I've got a plan. Which is? Uh, a hinge pin. There, there it is. Brace the cage with a hinge pin. You know, that just might work. There. You know, I had to slug you. Come on, Sophia, don't be angry. Angry? You left me rotting in this hellhole. Well, if that's how you feel, maybe you should stay here. Maybe I will. Great idea. Fine. Fine. What was that? I'm not sure. I think Nurab Sol made me do it. Is that so? Dangerous fella, that Mr. Sal. Yeah. Well, we better be going. Maybe I should have left her. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I mean, I should have. In some way or another, because I think that was the same in one of the Indiana Jones movies, but... Yeah. I can't. It's wedged in too tight. Ah, uh, can we... There we go. I'm, I'm taking this stupid pin with me. I'm not... I'm not playing back and forth um words um i mean there was hints some sort of hints or like my my brain telling me there's gonna be a little romance at the end with them as all indiana jones movies have some sort of little fling actually no wait
I'm getting my movies mixed up. Because, you know, it didn't happen in all... Did it? No, not in the third one. No, it kind of did. kind of did in the third one. I don't remember the fourth one. That's for good, good reasons. And I haven't seen the latest. Right? Five is the newest, like, last year. That was really bad. Oh, no, four. I think four was really bad. But compared to five, which one's worse? Anywho. Um, I mean... Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Um, although I was just hoping maybe they would just, like, rekindle that friendship after, you know, everything that happened between the two pre in the previously. Whatever that was, you know. But I guess not. Uh, okay, so let's go in. I should really save since we got a Sophia with us. Uh... Indy, Nurab Sal is here. I sense his presence. Hold on a minute. Uh. Are you feeling okay? Never better. I feel all powerful. Uh. Come on, we got things to do. We certainly do. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Nice to have you in the party. <sighs> for like two seconds. Horrendous. I guess we'll follow her. In here, Indy. Follow me. This is a trap. This is a wrap. This is a edible wrap. Ah, Dr. Jones. Welcome to my humble abode. I, I like what you did with the place. It's uh, cozy and not full of lava. Okay, she's possessed. Great. Just great. Just what I would I need in my point of clicks. Possessed character. If you have a bingo card, mark a bingo card. It's a lava pit full of calcified skeletons. Nummy. Uh can I talk to Neurosob? I can't talk to her. Excuse me. Oh, now I can. Speak mortal! Ooh, boy. Jeez, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I find it exceptionally restful. Yeah, the stone beds sure look comfy. Silence, fool! Come on, Sophia, let's get out of here. Never! I'm staying right here with the spirit who guides my thoughts. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sophia, is that you? The woman that was is now the king that shall ever be. Address me accordingly, please. Sorry, your highness. Pray for mercy, swine. Uh... Why are you acting like this? Acting like what? Speak your mind, Churl! You sound like you're possessed. Possessed? <laughs> By what? By that stupid necklace of yours. Possessed by a bronze trinket? And you call yourself a scientist. It's been working on you for years. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, Sophia, hand over the necklace. 
I can't. In ten years, I've never let it out of my grasp. Now, I can't even force myself to take it off. Oh, Indy, I'm doomed. Okay, we gotta convince her to get the necklace off. Can I convince you with a fish? With a fishy trinket? Oh, there's a scepter. Look at those feet, or whatever they were. I guess I pick up the scepter. And we can look at the scepter. It's a bronze rod, probably a king's scepter. Oh good, you can't use it on Sophia. Okay. Let's talk to her again. Talk to Sophia. Sophia. I hear you. I'm glad. Uh What's making you so weird? What do you mean, Carl? Uh middle one? Let me talk to the mortal woman. Make it quick. The time for human frailty is past. Uh, okay. Um. How can I help you? I can't help myself, that's for sure. My willpower is gone, replaced by the thing I found and thought I owned. It's all up to you, Indy. What can I do? The one who feeds on fire is always hungry. Desperate moments require desperate measures. Oh, so do you want to do you want a broadwurst? I could throw in the lava. Uh Sophia. I hear you. Or maybe I'm supposed to throw the scepter. Pull yourself together, will you? What do you mean, Carl? Uh, middle one again? Let me talk to the mortal woman. Make it quick. The time for human frailty is past. I'm gonna check my options here. Uh... Sophia? What's going on here? The deed that began in Iceland is done. The great spirit is back in his kingdom thanks to me. Okay, so I have to feed the fire. I'll make the lava go bye bye. Let, let's just try. If, if you're hungry, I got I got bratwurst. Let's see what that does. I don't think that'll work. Ah, I tried. Use scepter. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Maybe I don't have the solution right now. But at least I have the fish. Do I have to throw a bunch of these things in? I don't think that'll work. Okay, well, let's leave. I'll do a quick save. Oh, wait. What's that? What's this? What's this? Is this just a pixelated error? Oh, that may be just a bunch of pixels that should have disappeared. Okay. Okay, so I don't have her with me right now. So let's do a quick save. I nailed spelling. Okay. Uh, oh, strange carvings. Let's take a quick look at that. Let's go ahead and see what's... Look at those tusks. You know, up ahead. Uh, there's a door here. There's bones. Obscene. I don't see anything special about it. I don't think that'll work. It doesn't seem to open. Oh, it's a giant tank. Oh, okay. Atlantean graffiti. I don't think that'll work. It's a huge version of the Microtar statue. Am I supposed to put a bead in? Oh, it looks like I'm supposed to put a bead and a bunch of things in here. Oh, goody. Looks like another hungry mouth. Looks like an empty slot. Am I supposed to put the stones in here? Let's just try. It doesn't work. Okay. 
does this does he say I have a lot of these? I have three beads. Oh no. <laughs> I got three. Okay, uh let's just I have three beads. I did save, so let's put one in and see what happens. Okay. Looks like an empty slot. Uh, hinge pin? Oh, it worked. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Oh, it maybe did it? Oh, it did. Um, uh, push. Okay, so this is a whole... Okay, let's... I clearly don't have enough leverage for this. It looks like I'm going to have to use that, the scepter... Oh wait, technically I may have three. One, two, three. Uh, at least I got two, but I need more... S um, sticks. One, two... I got a couple. Okay, I want to keep looking before we go into here. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. Okay. No, I say this is a lot of filler rooms. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um... Oh, did I just circle back? I did. Okay. So we're just doing one giant loop, so I have to break into the center. So I need to deal with Neuropsol and this machine. Okay. All right. What do I deal with first? Machine? Or um, I think I have to deal with the machine first. All right, guys. I am back. So I had a little break. Um, did I look at these markings? I don't know if I did. Uh, it occurred to me while I was hanging out with the small child. Atlantean graffiti. Um, did I? Okay, I think Sophia mentioned, like, they hit. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Uh, she mentioned, like, they mentioned the necklace eating at her or being attached to her for, like, 10 years or whatever. Did I actually look at the necklace? Like, can we actually get a look at it? The, the the vehicle, I think I just need to stick a bunch of sticks into it and see if I can, you know, work the levers. But did we actually look at her? I don't think we did. We talked to her, but I don't know if we looked at her. Um, Mind if I look at your necklace? Okay, we can look at it. Interesting. Okay, let's awkwardly stare at her necklace. Why is it flashing like that? Oh. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Didn't... At the very beginning of the game, didn't she put one of the orc column or, or, or this, these thingies in the mouth? I don't remember what it did. It's an old lost wax casting, early Bronze Age. It looks hollow. It's a small diamond-shaped hole. I don't. I don't remember what it did. Can we do that? Can we shove one of these in there? Oh. Ah! Ow! That medallion is hot. Drop it, why don't you? Nurabsal won't let me. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, well, we have the box, right? Right, 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 right. No! Sorry, Sophia. So long, Nurabsal. Thanks, Indy. If you hadn't done that, I'd be as dead as that monster. Okay, I... okay. We did it. Okay. That's one thing done. Uh, okay. Now we gotta 
do with the vehicle. So I'm guessing that would have been optional as well. Like, I feel like I could just leave Sophia here and finish the game. I don't want to, because that's mean, but... I'd be curious to know... And I'm not going to do it. I'd be curious to know what ending you would get if you leave her in Atlantis. More Atlantean graffiti. More Atlantean graffiti. Okay, um, let's do this. I only have two or calm, so I gotta make it going up. Count. I'll wait down here. Suit yourself. Okay, we can use that one. And I guess the metal rod? It doesn't work. No, okay. Do I use my wooden peg? It doesn't work. No, do I use the sharp rib? It doesn't work. Oh, maybe I have to switch le levers every time. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm afraid I'm going to mess this up, so I'm going to do a quick save. Like I said, I don't have many um, of those golden balls left. But wait. I'm trying to think. I do have a hose. I don't know. I, I don't think the hose would work. Um, I'm trying to think in terms of... Because I think I need a third wooden peg. Because it needs to show the up, the down, the up, right? So where would that one be? Do I miss it? Is there somewhere I missed something? Uh... Hmm, I wonder if these markings are related to that huge machine. Oh, it is. Up, middle, down. To move for. Oh, don't tell me this. No, I think it only needs one B to operate. I think. Oh, I just hope I have enough beads to finish the game. How did I use them all? Oh, okay, never mind. I think I wasted a bunch. Um, I don't remember where, but I'm pretty confident I wasted a bunch. Okay, so this is where we started. So... This is where Neuropsy... Coming? I'm not going back in there. Makes sense. Okay, yeah, this is Nerob Saul. I don't think I saw anything else besides the scepter. Maybe I am supposed to just take one of the sticks out and change it. I only have two levers, though. I think so far I've only seen two drawings. There's one for... Looks like one for forward and then... Another one to turn, I think. Yeah, this one's straight, so it needs to be the first and the third. And then this one to turn. The, do you need the middle one up? So we need two. So it's left and right. And then both in the middle, I'm guessing? 
Okay, so I need to uh, pick up the middle. Okay, I can take it. Use scepter with right slot. Okay, and then uh, we we'll use our aura the balls, the golden balls to get this going. Uh, so we need to push It's working. Get on board, Sophia. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh Okay, can I That won't work. That won't work. It won't go any further. It won't go any further. Uh, okay. That didn't do anything. I may have to brute force this. This lever won't move. This lever won't move. Okay. That was close. Too close. I was gonna say, guys, we died. I, I did an oops. Okay, I'm gonna save, because that, that happened. Um... I guess we walk to this door. Also, I miss you, music. Please come back. You may hear some roosters crowing. They're just doing their thing. Oh, 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 okay. I guess we're going down, 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 down. Stick close, kid. This could be dangerous. I'll take my chances. Oh my. I feel like this may be end game. Oh no, it's one of these. Oh, I don't like these. <laughs> they add fluff to a video game. Hey. Hey what? Yeah, we're back here. I can't reach it. You mean you can't reach it? Oh no, you I can't. I can't reach it. You can't. There's no stairs. Part of it. I mean, you could jump down. Nothing stopping you, Indy. You could jump down. Oh, no, that's our exit. Oh, we lost Sophia. Oops. Interesting. That told me I took the wrong path. I'm guessing if Sophia didn't follow. Although, she, she's gone again. Hey! No, did I already do the hey, hey one? Is hey time you're on the right? I can't climb back up. The passage is too steep. Oh, uh, we slipped and slide. Okay. Uh, let's go on this one. I wish we could double click to run. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Okay, so I guess this one. It just looks like the stairs there. I guess not. Whoops. Okay, and then I have 
to pass here. And stairs. Oh. Oh, I have to take a door. Yep, totally have to take a door. Okay. Although I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this is a clue. I feel like I should take a photo. You know what? I'm gonna take a photo of that. It screams those 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 discs, the stones, you know. Okay. Photo get. Okay, let's continue, shall we? So I'm gonna choose the right door. It seems right. Whoa! Ah, pickles. I chose poorly. Okay, so we went through this door. We're gonna be here for a while. And then... This door. Oh, was I chose this one, so I should choose this one next. Whoops! I should really just save scum this area. Yeah, I'm gonna s I'm gonna save scum. So if I make a mistake, I can just bounce right back. Okay, that's a good sign of Sophia's here. Uh, let's... I had no choice. Let's do another save scum. Although it defeats the purpose of save scum over using the same file, but whatever. Okay. Uh, there's a door there. It doesn't look like I can go anywhere further here, so this is my next option. Yeah, it is. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Pickles. Okay, let's try this door. I feel like I'm kind of hooped. Sure, there was one way over here. There's just screams. I can go over here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I should do another save. And let's choose this door. I'm gonna do another save. Oh, oh, oh! It's a, it's this kind of game. Ah, oh, pickles. Son of a bee. Are you coming? Hold your horses. An 
nice moves. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna do a save. And let's go. Holy pickle guys, we may be at the end of this game. Ooh. Here's your shining city. Not what I expected, that's for sure. And the place is still humming, maintaining the air pressure for untold centuries. Alright, let's go. I have like one bead left, if I remember correct. Huh. Oh, wait, I see a spindle. That's a frog statue. Uh, let's go get the froggy. Looks like it's hungry for our calcum. Oh, no. Uh, like, no, they, you're gonna have my last one. There better not be any more puzzles that need that, or I'm hooped. It's a receptacle for the stone discs. Uh, damn it. Alright, let's get them all in there. I'm gonna save before I stick an or or a heebie-jeebie on them. Um. Okay, let's see if I give it to him now. What happens? Hmm, that didn't do anything. Okay, so I only have one shot, and then I'm out. And I imagine I have to go all the way back to get more. So let's go look at this. You know, I took a picture of that image. We're gonna see if I can use it. So this there, the full moon is supposed to be over there. And I'm assuming the city Actually, there's a pointy arrow there. Uh oh. What did you do now, Wendy? I think I turned it on. You see, Colonel? I told you Chorns would be of some use to us. Kerner, I knew I smelled a rat. Congratulations, Dr. Jones. You've just handed the Third Reich its ultimate victory. And think more than a few orichalcum bombs that conquer the world, Uberman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Uh, holiday barbecues. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yes, I'm, I'm going for it. Holiday barbecues? Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling orichalcum. And now we have all we need! Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? Uh, I'll pass. Uh, sweeties of my bones. Uh, I like the second option. You know what, let's just go for it. I did save beforehand. I think the heat in here has cooked your cabbages. Scientific discoveries belong to the bowl, Chons! That's something you, of all people, should understand! Uh, okay. We can go through all these. Did you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Experiment gone awry! Unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge! Progress has its price, you know! Uh... 
top one? Top one, sure. Maybe they were all too human, like you. Subhuman, you mean? They were destroyed by their physical imperfections, and they dazed in the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. Okay. Do you really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone. We both shall rule here, Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Colonel. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. Uh, let's go home and die in bed. Uh... Second one? Second one. Swell. Send me a postcard from Valhalla. One more step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't begin without a guinea pig, can we? <coughs> If you'll kindly step onto the platform. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You? Don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> a test is a test. Great or subjective can be. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? The top one. Sure. I don't remember it, but sure, it seems important. I mean, all of them sound like, no matter what I choose, it's, there's gonna be the same outcome, but let's do the top one. What about Plato's tenfold error? What about it? <laughs> right. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. His numbers were off. Right. It's all kind of coming back. Yeah, because the coordinates were off. Yeah. Most of Plato's numbers were way off target. Hmm. Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by ten. Try one bead. One bead it is. for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. Uh. Duh. Is this gonna be a choose and I'm wrong kind of game over? Uh, no thanks. Godhood's for egomaniacs like you. Oh, unless you want my men to move you. That's better. Uh, okay. Bottom one? What makes you think you can outdo the old kings? Science, my boy. We have it, and they didn't. Here goes. Hang on a second. Uh... Do this. Uh, third one? Top and second one? First one? Second one? Maybe we can outwit him? Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Uh. I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. All right, Sean. You decide. How many beats should be used? Uh... 
Oh my goodness. Uh... Do I do a hundred? Would hundred blow things up? Twenty? Uh, I think we want to blow this thing up. The same time the top sounds really good. Uh, let's do top option. I mean, if I uh, but if I die, I have to go through all that dialogue again. Hmm. Let's. Uh, you know what? Just go for it. Who cares how many beads? It's all a myth. In that case, let's try Plato's suggestion. Ah, oh, damn it. Eight, nine, ten beads. Fatal transformation. Atlantis shook itself to pieces, stealing its secrets and the Nazis of molten lava. Well, pickles. And I guess points. Okay, so we gotta go through that again. Ah, pickles. Damn frog, indeed. All right. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so uh, one, it took forever to get here. I can skip dialogue. Uh, so I kind of awkwardly stare at the guy just so I know what I need to do um so we're gonna go through the dialogue um and then we'll get to the ending but yeah I'm basically at the end of the game so we're just gonna make this episode really long um yeah anywho so let's choose a third one you don't need aura calcum you need a miracle nothing I'll start with Plato's number 10 beats should do the trick now position yourself March no. That's better. Here goes. Hang on a second. So basically, uh, what the guide mentions is that you're supposed to switch with him. You need to use your charisma to get him onto the platform. Um, so we're gonna avoid using certain conversation topics. Um, so let's just talk it over. Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should be used? Uh... No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You'll be leaving your cares behind. Isn't that a Monty Python reference? Like, like, a life of Brian? Um, sorry. Ah, I think I want this one. That is true. That would make him switch. Although it's tempting. But let's do this one. You know, you'd make a much better god than me. Without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose at the chance to become one of the lesser immortals. Uh. Please, Professor, I've got classes to teach. Stop whining, man. Let's not take chances. How does 20 beads sound? Oh, shoot. No beads. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John, get a grip on yourself! Uh... Not too late. Let's call the whole thing off. Show some spine, man! How many beads should be used? No beads. Let's get out of here. Not yet! Still got a chance if we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, John. Wait a minute. Let's go home. No! 
refining, man. How many seeds should be used? Forget the beans. Really, Doctor, you must cooperate. Okay, so maybe I have to do Plato's error still. I guess we'll jump to that one. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Uh... Oof. The problem with this is adding numbers. Do I go 100 beads? I mean, he had to sit there and count them all, right? And then we could get out of here. I think I screwed up though. Dividing by 10 didn't work, but multiplying might. Alright, Chun, you decide how many beads should be used. Okay, let's do this one. Will you stop with a bead talk? Really, Doctor, you must cooperate. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality! Is that the thanks I get? Uh, I think the top one. More he deserves. Yeah, because everything here is telling him to use the beads, except. Yeah. I mean, this one is, but. Also taunting. Taunting. But provoking? Maybe. Maybe it making him hesitant? I feel like that's the good option. You ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on! Perhaps I haven't thought this through. Nice, okay. You want to go fast. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. Well, you won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. Yes, okay. 98? 99? 100 feet! Prepare to feel my
You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales, even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe not. What was that for? To ease the pain. Yay, we beat it. Woo! Uh, I... Okay, 600. Total 600. Nice. But we did it. We beat the game. Holy pickles. Um... I like the game. But I'm not like... This is the best thing ever. Like, it, it sounds terrible. Because I know a lot of people cherish and love this game. It was okay. Um... This is definitely one of those games that, like, um, you need a lot more time to really sit down and plunk and try to figure out the solution and, you know, not work a lot at a guide. Um, I feel like that may have, like, you know, caused, not caused issues, but, like, um, spoiled how to solve things is me looking at a guy constantly, but I just don't have time to sit in brute force or try to solve it um, like I used to. But like, I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. Like I liked it, but like it's... It's missing something. Wait, there was a hint book? <laughs> um... Maybe that's why I didn't have the manual or the hint book. I don't know. I, like, I enjoy it. It's a LucasArts game. I, I enjoy... Okay, I didn't care for Temple of Doom. That one was kind of... You know, it, it, I had problems with that one. This one, like I said, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. But like, it's, it's still missing something. Maybe because I always like... I'm a Monkey Island girl. I like my Monkey Island. I like my humor and that kind of writing. And I don't know. I, it's hard to put my finger on it. But yeah, it's... If I was to make like a LucasArts point and click tier list, I would say this would be like... A low B, C tier. Or if we're going like with S ranking as the highest since, you know, nowadays we throw things on tier lists. Um, yeah, I would put this like low A, B tier with S being like original Monkey Island. Um, an all new event. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there was supposed to be another one. I heard about that. There was supposed to be another Indiana Jones point and click game, but it got cancelled. And apparently there's been leaked media, uh, not recent, but a couple months back of, like, I think a trailer or a demo for it. Or something like that. Keep it, hopefully the screen stays on this beautiful logo. This beautiful logo. This is, it, this logo is beautiful, pardon, this is like 90s nostalgia. Um... Yeah, I, I, I feel like there was another game I had problems like this. Like, I liked it, but it was, it's kind of like, eh. Um, I don't think I go back. And I know there's multiple paths I can go. Like, I, I think someone explained there was a combat path and a, oh my goodness, I think of a solo run of chess indie which i feel like i technically did i don't even think did sophia help uh, any at all some she did a little but like i feel like i did that and the team one together but i feel like the team one is i'm, I'm pretty content with that ending i feel like you know i'm good i'm good playing that ending i don't want to do combat although i'm curious how fast that playthrough would be since all you're doing is just beating people up, I'm assuming. I don't I don't know. Um, if you are interested in watching these playthroughs, I can post long plays of the other paths if I can find them on YouTube or um, 
someone else's let's play but yeah I don't think I'm gonna go and play the other two unless I stream it but right now it's a no I want to get moving and play other games like Black Mirror, Dark Mirror, or Experience 112. Um, I don't know what else to say about this game. Actually, you know, I, you know what? I feel like the teamwork mechanic was not really utilized. It was at some points, but I feel like I said, I Sophia was just there, just, just, just there. I feel like. Like Broken Sword, the team mechanic it was in, in Sleeping Dragon, which I know it's not the greatest one in the series. That's the one I played that got me hooked on Broken Sword. Um, that team, did it have a team mechanic? Or was it the second one? Whatever, regardless. I feel like that game did really good in regards to like bouncing between different characters. Even it wasn't the whole like, talk to the person switch, but like different chapters switching to one another. I feel like I... Like, you got to know the characters. Sophia was just kind of there. She had a beef with Indy due to previous experiences. They bickered. And then they kissed. I mean, which, I, I don't blame her. It's, you know, it's, it's Harrison Ford. Back in the day, Harrison Ford. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Uh, this video is already long as it is. I normally don't post this long of videos, but since we're at the end, you know, I said, F it, let's just go for it. I gotta edit it all. It's gonna take me a while. So I should start cracking on that. Um, so I think, I think I've got my feelings out for this game. Yeah, let me post in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the game when you beat it. Um, I know this one is really popular with a lot of point-and-click players. It is one of like the greatest point-and-click games. I I can see it, but I feel like there are better Lucas point-and-click Lucas Arts games that do it better. Granted, I haven't played it like Sam and Max, Full Throttle, obviously Monkey Island. Monkey Island, yes, is amazing, but like Full Throttle, Sam and Max, you know. I think I'm missing a handful of other point and click LucasArts ones. Oh, Grim Fandango, I feel like that's another one, you know. Um, but anywho, I'm going to stop rambling here. I should do my shameless plug. Um, so as always, before I do a shameless plug, eh, I like to thank all my followers, my watchers, who watch this playthrough of Indiana Jones and the Fatal Atlantis. Thank you for watching it. I greatly appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys spending time watching this or listening to it if you're working on a project or whatever. I really appreciate you guys' time for watching my let's play of this game. I really appreciate it. Um, I do this channel just for fun. Um, just to play games that I want to play uh, and to let you guys enjoy my commentary and my playthrough of it while I get to play games that, you know, are my ever, ever long backlog. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for the support, the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, watching them. Even if you're not subscribed, I'm okay with that. Just thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Hopefully life is amazing. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Anywho, shameless plug time. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this game. What your feelings of it are. Um, I'm curious to know. Um, also, check out my other Let's Plays as well. I also stream on Twitch. Uh, check casual games when I have the time. Uh, and yeah, so as usual, once I finish a series, I usually take a week or two off in whatever day slot this falls under, which is a Thursday, uh, to kind of relax and kind of build up my stock for what game I'm playing next. So yeah, that was kind of ramble by the time some people have watched it up or played a couple other games. Anywho, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it always. You have a good morning, a good evening, a good night, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play. Bye.